Hey folks, Brian here. Today I'm going to quickly show you how to use flags in Go. And support the channel by checking out the description below. So, initially we want to define a couple flags at the top of the file using the flag package. If you want string flags, you can do flag.string. Give it the name of the flag to recognize on the command line. A default value, if you like and a description. Here I've defined two flags, input and seek. So when I compile my program, it'll recognize these two flags. And if you type the program name and dash H, it'll print out the two flags, the descriptions, and their types. And if you give it a command, if you give it a flag that it doesn't recognize, it'll also print out the help message. So the next thing after defining your flags is to call flag.parse. That processes those flags from the command line and stores those values into the left hand side, your string types for these string flags. If you have a boolean flag, your variable on the left hand side will be a boolean. And how you use these flags since they're pointer values input here is a string pointer is you dereference it with a star to turn it into a regular string. So last time uh, we called FFmpeg this tool is called FU as the FFmpeg utility and we called FFmpeg from here but we used a single long command line and we split it by spaces. And what I found out is the command I wanted to use here with our input flag already had a space in it. So when it was split by a space, it was split it into two arguments instead of one. And so that would cause FFmpeg to fail. So now what I've done is changed that long string into a string slice. And in that string slice, I define each argument. For instance, uh, seek takes a star, dereferences it into a string. And now the input, which is actually a string with a space in some cases, is completely turned into one string argument. And here I did sprintf to add an mp4 extension. So let's try to run it. Oh, dash dash is not recognized so let's change it to seek. And there you go. The flags are working and it produced the shorter clip so that that can up it be uploaded to Instagram. So there you go. That's how to use flags and go. Again, if you like this video, check out the description below. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.